to the Happy table and spend a fair amount of time together. This is a critical moment for, I think, both our countries and uh, the region that you so ably represent. And the strength of uh, the U.S. It seems to me, at least, I hope you think the same way, the Singapore strategic partnership to support peace and, uh, and prosperity throughout the Pacific uh, these many years. Today, that partnership is as important as it's ever been, in my opinion. As a matter of fact, I think it's growing in importance. And uh, rule-based order is facing unprecedented challenges. Uh, Russia's uh, unprovoked and unjustifiable war against Ukraine is an urgent threat to both Europe and, I believe, to the Indo-Pacific as well. And uh, it's attacking the core tenets of a rule-based international order. Uh, and, uh, borders can't be changed by force, and all the nations, as large and small, are equal and sovereign in the rights for their sovereignty. And uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for Singapore's principal leadership in supporting the people of Ukraine. I know it's not easy, but I want to thank you for it. You're a man of principle, and you've stepped up every time you've had to. And uh, even as we address uh, the crisis in Europe, my administration is strongly supportive of moving rapidly to implement the Indo-Pacific strategy that we've talked about. Now. And the United States is a proud Indo-Pacific nation. It's hard for most other nations in the world to understand that, but we have a big country and a lot of Pacific territory. And uh, I, uh, uh, it's a free and open area that we want to make sure is we want to maintain it that way, connect it in purpose, in security, and uh, in terms of our resilience. And so, uh, today, uh, at the end of the day, we're going to discuss a number of important issues. The U.S. ASEAN relationship, upholding freedom of the seas, uh, promoting return of de democracy in Burma, and advancing inclusive and, and, and sustainable economic growth both our, our areas. And so I want to thank you again for making this journey. And uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, the floor is yours, good friend. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you especially for receiving me at this critical moment in, in world affairs. And I'm sure you're completely seized with what's happening in Europe right now. But we doubly appreciate the time you're giving to the relationship with Singapore and with Southeast Asian countries generally, especially ASEAN. Uh, Singapore is a very good partner of the United States. We are a major security cooperation partner of the U.S. And our relations are doing very well economically as well as in the security and defense realms. And they prosper and grow and venture into new areas continually. And I hope to discuss that with the President today, as well as to further the relationship between the U.S. and ASEAN which is an engagement which is important to the U.S. because it helps the U.S. to be present in the Asia-Pacific and to deepen its relations with many friends and to strengthen its strategic interests in the region. We will, of course, exchange views also on Ukraine and what that means for the Asia-Pacific region. Uh, Singapore hopes that the United States, amidst all its many preoccupations, will continue to deepen its relationship with countries in the Asia-Pacific, China certainly, but also other countries besides China, and deepen it substantially in many different ways through the Indo-Pacific strategy, and in doing so to foster the peace, stability, and security of the region, as you have done for so many decades since the war. Thank you very much. I assure you that's our objective. I assure you.